Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we are going to make a comparison between TypeScript and JavaScript. And we will make this comparison on the behalf of type checking so that we can check that uh, for type checking, how much code we have to write in JavaScript and how much code we have to write in TypeScript, right? So before starting with this video, I want to share an information with you. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting, then you can purchase it from domain racer it have multiple benefits just plans are started with a 59 rupees per month for hosting and you will get light speed technology with the ssd disk free ssl certification cpanel also and they have a free website builder tool also if you are uh, not familiar with the code or you want to make a website website without coding then uh, you can use this tool and this is totally free of cost. So go for domain racer and let's back to the uh, point. So in last video, we learned two things. One is we have three types of code type in uh, TypeScript, number, string and Boolean. Second thing is how we can restrict the values for parameters like uh, uh, in add function, we have two parameters n1 and n2. So they must be type of number. If they are not number, then we should have get a error, right? So this is very easily achieved in the TypeScript when we just put here colon number, right? But how can we get this functionality in the JavaScript? So let's see. First of all, I am going to remove this code and let's make a function with the name of sum and it have two parameters num1 comma num and uh, after that we can simply return here and put here num1 plus num2 right and uh, how we can just make a console how we can just get and print this result so just put here sum and two values like 20 and 30 we can print it right so now let's uh, copy the path of this html file and uh, we can simply paste it here all right so this is already pasted here you can see that we got a 50 result here that is fine so let's say uh, with due to some reason we just uh, by mistakenly send their 20 value as a string so here you can see that we got a 2030 result but there should be a error because this is a string value right so how we can achieve in the javascript so for that let's make a condition and check here type of num1 triple equal to number and type of num2 triple equal to num if both values are number then it should return that one right if this uh, program should this function should return a error so for that what we can do here just return new error and here we can put here values should be type of number right and now let's check so first of all, I am putting here 20 and 30 as a number and let's check the result and we are getting here 50. And now let's uh, send any value as string and here you can see that we got a error, right? So if I just put here like true and false or something else rather than number, then again we will get the error, right? So with that way we can check the type typing in a javascript but here you can compare in a ts we just need to put here colon number and then we can get the type checking but in javascript this is a really really messy and complex code for type checking that's why we will use uh, app uh, typescript right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any doubt on this comparison you can ask me in the comment box and on my instagram account